Good morning. morning. Good morning. Hello, Logan. <laughs> hey. hey, Sander. Logan. Hey. Rosa. Cool. I'm very happy to be here with you guys tonight. Um, Logan, I saw you with Suzanne Chang. Uh, she popped up um, two months ago, I don't know. And um, I know her and mm. um, I like her very much. Um, I'm not following her now, but um, yeah, there is in a way a connection. I'm not in touch with her now, but I really resonate a lot with her and um, blah, blah, blah. And then I saw you there and then boom, Logan is popping up with Emerson on the, yeah. um, what is it called? Uh, head popping. Maybe <laughs> it's like, maybe it's putting the title like the head popping thing or, you know, <laughs> instant mm -hmm. head popping, instant realization. And I was like, oh, okay. Logan, okay, interesting. What a paradox, because I did not expect, like I saw you with uh, Suzanne, it was a very chilled mood, very silent, you know, just like <laughs> saying nothing. And and then with Emerson, because with Emerson, it's in a way more kind of a request also like going mm. and, you know, doing the one-on-one -on -one and it's it's... And this was in a way a beautiful paradox, which I liked. And here is always this openness, just feel free to connect. And I directly found you on Facebook and uh, here we go. I just boomed out, you said yes, and here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I feel a little and bit nervous. You, yeah, beautiful. And full <laughs> on nervousness, what a beauty. Mm -hmm. You know, I hear sure. here is this in loveness with the directness of what is, with the intensity, with the full on, uh, no matter what, can be also full on boringness, <laughs> full on laziness, full on being too late. <laughs> like I was like, okay, okay, come, come on here to be in time. Well, again, not in time, and yeah, full on nervousness. Um, to be honest, sweetheart, those are exactly. Mm, the things I love the more in you know the, the the when it gets very intense no matter if nervosity or um for example I had uh, the day before yesterday a job interview OMG this was wow guess mm. what mm, I, I I was like kind of totally enjoying the show totally you know there was, this was just like booming out the way it is, no matter what. Actually, you you would kind of also prepare more and in a way have the drive to get the job, yeah? To to present mm. yourself the best you can. Guess what right. happened? I was just like yeah. booming, like, you know, okay. And this was beautiful. I just enjoyed myself full on. And guess what? The four people there uh, loved it. They they loved it the way uh, they were entertained. Well, I obviously also enjoyed the show. So I would say win-win situation. So I have yeah. no fucking clue if I'm going to get the job, but who cares? Perfection in action, uh, you know? <laughs> okay. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> so in a way, yeah, back to the nervousness. Yeah, mm. full on nervousness. Beautiful. What a beauty. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sweetheart. Um uh I'm curious about um uh, if you like you can share your story, how you met Suzanne, maybe, how mm. you um so Emmy line, I love Emmy. Well, sweetheart, if you mm. listen, probably not. And <laughs> and um I listen to what? Uh, no, Emmy line. I, I like Emerson very much and uh, I just greeted him. And before I forget, uh, greetings from Chris. Um, yes. You mentioned, right, that you show uh, saw the chat with Chris on the channel. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I only him. saw maybe half of it. Um, and, you know, whenever that was a few months ago, but Mm -hmm. uh, I told yeah, him so that, yeah, yeah, I told him that we, we are going to meet tonight. 
and he was like oh mm -hmm. say say hi to to logan i love him oh, yeah. and he will connect with you again soon and um, yeah i've been meaning to connect with him again too so yeah cool good. cool and he told me that you have a twin sisterly right uh not twin but i have a sister yeah she's a couple years younger okay uh, okay, but, okay yeah when we were growing up people did always think we were twins because i was like very small for my age so we looked kind of the same age okay okay i by the way i also have a sister you are not alone <laughs> oh good <laughs> do you also have a sister sweetheart <laughs> no no but you have a brother huh yes okay cool <laughs> Good. So, Logan, so now uh, feel free to share. You can start wherever you want or not and just, yeah, just blah, blah, blah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Just give me one second. My cat is scratching at my door. I just want to let her in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm back. Wait, what's um, the name of your cat? This is important. Her name is Fiona. Fiona. Okay, Xander mm -hmm. has also a cat. And the name is? Sir Charles. <laughs> Sweet. Sir Charles. Okay. So is it Fiona from Shrek? 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 Or are you always, you have Fiona and Shrek, right? Shrek, uh, yeah, Shrek. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was necessarily the inspiration, but maybe, um, you know, subconsciously it was. <laughs> subconsciously i mean uh what uh, how you mean subconsciously oh, that's a good question I mean, um, <laughs> yeah. is there is there yeah. something beneath this which is subconscious yeah and for me for me the idea of an unconscious or you know subconscious seemed very functional for a long time um I guess Beautiful. it's, I mean, I can see now it's just an idea, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of equally unknown, I suppose. But um, <clears throat> yeah, as far as my story, um, yeah, I don't know what's relevant really. Oh, nothing. <laughs> that's yeah. why we're here sweetheart this is really not about this is everything is without any relevance believe me yeah. <laughs> that's why i love it yeah yeah i mean i guess um you know how i feel now sort of the amount of like presence and spontaneity seems very much like i felt as a kid um and, um, you know, if anything's relevant, I think that that feels at least the most resonant is sort of like my childhood. <laughs> um, cool. Where I spent a lot of time like in nature and, you know, out on the beach, um, exploring and lifting up rocks and finding crabs and um, up here in the, in the Pacific Northwest where I live. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you live where? <laughs> I live um, around the Seattle area, um, but okay. we're in a rural, rural town. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think life just started getting more and more constricted as I got older and into like adolescence and adulthood and everything. Um, and um, so logan you would say there there was the sense of a me uh yeah yeah for sure definitely okay because yeah. for example with xander there was no sense of a me but also no sense of a no me <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah that's very interesting okay so um, you with your story here this is of course also just a story but just uh the memories back so there was a sense of a me and and maybe it gets stronger and stronger and heavier and heavier. <laughs> sure. And, you know, I, I remember, um, I mean, I think probably as soon as I had the idea or the sense that like there was something separate looking out through these eyes, um, like I could, 
I could tell there was something wrong with that. Like it just didn't make sense. Um, and none of the, you know, what I was told about the world and how it worked made sense. Um, and I couldn't figure it out, but I was just like banging my head against it for so long for, for, for so many years, I think. Mm. Um, and like well, looking I... everything I could think to look to try to like figure out, you know, what's going yeah. on. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. And um, yeah, I think, you know, weirdly through some, some just like study of a bunch of different things, um, physics and math and like neuroscience and, and philosophy about consciousness and like all this kind of stuff. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was very, you know, very, very, very- Very curious, huh? I wanna know I it. Do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I kind of arrived at this place um, one day where something kind of clicked and um, there was just this kind of like re recognition of, uh, I mean, the me totally dropped um, for, you know, this only lasted a kind of a short period of time, but, um, but the experience then was like almost of like the totality kind of expressing as you know, this and also not this. Um, and and sort of that being the, I don't know, just, you can't even call it truth, but <laughs> like, um, so there was like a really vivid recognition of that, um, that that kind of answered all the, the questions I had been asking, but then it like passed, right? And and like the, the contracted me sense came back um interesting a so-called yeah, glimpse yeah. yeah yeah like a big glimpse i suppose um and um but like from that glimpse i kind of knew at that point like there's nothing more to do there's nothing to look for really um and it it couldn't be anything other than this even though it with this, even with this being like a contracted self sense and and kind of the, yeah, like, you know, everything life is and becomes, um, which at that time kind of, um, this was right, this is, I think this was right around the time I had graduated college too. And so I was kind of like launching into the world or trying to, and and basically like, just kind of super like scared and directionless and not, you know, knowing what I was doing or where I was going. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> and I think there was a lot of years after that of, of the, like that kind of directionlessness mm. and yeah, a lot of like depression and anxiety and all that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, and then I discovered Buddhism Um and like Adi Ashanti and um, and some of that kind of stuff and and like Sam Harris and um, mm -hmm. so I started meditating and got kind of interested in that stuff and and whatever and um, but then you know really unfortunately it's it's kind of like my identity structured itself around like spirituality and that became the thing that that you know was important and made me special <laughs> oh yeah this is this is the most beautiful i i, I also was kind of into spirituality mm -hmm. with tishnatan the buddhist monk maybe you know him thai yeah. and then um oh, but, yeah and i simply feel it like this is really arrogant being being something special mm -hmm. spiritual being a spirit or i don't know what you know wow what a beauty, you know, well, nothing wrong with this, also nothing right, but it's just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Loving spirituality, trying to find something beautiful. Right, beautiful. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, a fun, a fun story, I suppose. Um, but then uh, I think um, probably because I had been watching a lot of like Adi Ashanti's talks on YouTube, I started getting recommended other like non-duality YouTube, YouTube people. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I found like Angelo DeLulo um, and was kind of like super into him for a bit and, you know, read his book and 
went on one of one of his retreats, and that was that was also helpful actually at the time. Um, what do you mean by this? By by helpful. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> Really, the, you know, the thing from, there were a few things I think from him that that helped me. Um, one was just like how clear it was he was, he's like a normal guy. And he, he also talked to a lot of like normal people on his YouTube channel, right? Who were having different shifts and whatever and, and going through awakening. Um, and that, that kind of like showed me, okay, this isn't something so special. Um, and, and like arcane. Um, like esoteric, if that makes sense. It's like something, you know, it's a normal, it's a normal person thing. <laughs> um, and, um, and there was also one little like pointer in his, his book, like a little practice about um, kind of like turning toward thought rather than like pushing thought away or something like that. Um, that I was doing that, I was, I was, I was doing this like little practice in his book and it, um, and it triggered like a big shift of of some kind, this big like energetic shift where I saw I saw in a new way that like thought um I guess just like there's something that isn't thought. Um which which before that I had really been like still in the mind, trying to like find truth in the mind somehow. Um maybe you I, I don't know if I got you right, but maybe you just saw the emptiness of thoughts. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable way to put it. I, I don't really know how to uh, how to because I I I um I don't know him, Angelo. Oh, yeah. I mm -hmm. just clicked maybe twice on a video, and uh, but uh, this was for me already done, and that's why it was mm -hmm. just a curiosity to see, you know. And he was kind of very booming, and uh, yeah, but um. There was something which I did you mention before that he simply showed you in a way that enlightenment, enlightenment mm -hmm. is uh nothing like special. Well right, right. Okay, just a sec, sweetheart. Is there enlightenment? Um, I mean, I guess it I mean as a word, sure. Is <laughs> um, <laughs> an idea, yeah, maybe. <laughs> So me okay. at that time was, you know, still kind of believing this idea of like, you know, enlightenment. Uh, what um, what what other word would you take for enlightenment? Maybe freedom. Hmm. Yeah. Good question. Awakening, maybe. Yeah. From I think... what? From what? Because uh, isn't it Angela or maybe another one who has a channel or already awake? There is only awakeness. Yeah, yeah. Simply Always Awake is the name of his channel. Yeah, and um, that's why Awakening, Enlightenment, I just, you know, I just want to ask you what you, for me, the, uh, uh, there was an idea of Awakening when I got in right. touch with Buddhism. Then I saw, oh, Enlightenment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, this is interesting, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, only, okay. only maybe, I don't know who can enlighten and uh, awaken and whatsoever. So it wasn't for me, you know, I, I, I wasn't grabbing to this here. You were simply mm -hmm. pain in the ass. I just wanted to get rid of the pain. Yeah. And the rest mm -hmm. was for me anyways, you know, just a dream. And mm -hmm. um, then this, this enlightenment thing collapsed very soon. Like when even, I don't know, it, it wasn't never about enlightenment, you know, that's why I was wondering mm -hmm. yeah how you see this enlightenment thing uh right right <clears throat> yeah so i mean it's hard to say how i see it now um yeah i don't think i see it in any particular way um, okay but but back then like um yeah i think like after you know getting into buddhism and everything and and I, then I sort of interpreted like that glimpse I had had as if, you know, I had had some, you know, big important insight that, you know, other people didn't understand. And, and then I became really attached to the idea of, of yeah, awakening or enlightenment. Yeah, or of course, of course. Um, but um, yeah, so I was kind of following Angelo and around that same time, I, 
I discovered Suzanne just on YouTube through her, you know, videos that she was posting at that time. And um, yeah. yeah, immediately connected with her just because it, at that time it was like the person that I had seen who was speaking with like the least duality in it, I suppose. Um, and um, yeah, so I, I had some one-on-ones -on with her. I joined her, you know, she does bi-weekly Zoom meetings, group mm. meetings. Um, She's lovely. Yeah, she is. Mm. Yeah, she was super helpful at, for me at that time. Um, just in kind of like communicating, like, it's okay. Like, this is okay. Beautiful, As beautiful, Logan, because um, I was also in a way, um, uh, um, it, it was a teacher, like with mm. you, Suzanne. She was very helpful for you. And for me, it was not Suzanne, but it was another one. Mm. And uh, he was very helpful to me. I call it therapy. Because in a way, I, I learned that no matter what's popping up, no matter I was very much with the emotions, uh, no matter what's popping, it's it's what it is. It's okay. No yeah. matter what, you know, because I this was new for me. I thought that I have to change it. It's not okay. In a way, this have to go. This have to change. And the therapy was in a way, no, that's it. And then it was, of course, the point was, okay, how to accept this? Mm. Fuck, it's hard, you know? Mm -hmm. And in a way, he was there to, to just be there and say it's, it's already accepted. That's it. Yeah. You know, kind of a support. And then I saw Suzanne and I was like, oh, wow, cool, cool. It's the same. Like mm -hmm. Suzanne is doing in a way the same, you know? And, and that's yeah. why there was this uh, seeing how beautiful she's playing out there with, but also going very radical. And uh, yeah, yeah, but that's why. But in a way, the same thing here. Yeah. Like just uh, the help, uh, really feeling help. It also was really a help here, I can say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. With you too, right? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, I had built at that point for, you know, I don't remember exactly how long, but a few years I had just built up so much attachment and dependence on this like identity as this like guy who gets it, who like gets <laughs> spirituality and non-duality. But I was like so uh in a way like uh insecure, I guess maybe about yeah. just being able to like be. Yeah. Um, and be vulnerable and like not know. Um mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, Su Suzanne, I think just kind of her presence or whatever. Um, yeah, most of all, is just like communicating over and over, like it's okay, basically. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I was still, you know, seeking, um, but kind of less, um, and then, yeah, one day, you know, this was only a few weeks ago now, I, I discovered Emerson. And um, and yeah, something, I just watched a few of his one-on-one -on -one videos and something just like, um, yeah, I don't know, my mind just like, you know, got silenced totally. Um, and... <clears throat> um, yeah, it's hard to really say anything about it. But I mean, in a way, it's a it was a repeat maybe of like seeing the emptiness of thought, as you put it. Um, mm -hmm. But definitely in a more like, I don't know, it just helped like break apart a lot of the ideas I was still clinging on to, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, there's lots more so, to the story, you know, in between everything, but that's kind of the gist. So like, yeah, yeah, of course. But so in a way, uh, after hearing a couple of one-on-ones from Emmy, simply you couldn't hold any more to certain belief system structures there, beliefs you had. They were kind of collapsing, right? Yeah. 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 Thunder Lynchian, sweetheart. So 
who was there already hanging on to any belief or disbelief? <laughs> yeah. Able to 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 stop mm -hmm. hanging on to it. Yeah, it's just that's just a thought. Was there something right or wrong about it? About supposedly hanging on to something? Yeah. Or being feeling depressed. Mm. Having fear. Fear, panic attacks. Mm. Yeah, I mean it I mean it sucked at the moment. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny Go that. Go on. Oh, I yeah, can sure. tell you, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would say, I I would say how can whatever seems to be already the case naturally and innocently this be wrong including the idea that it is wrong or the the lack of the idea that it is wrong mm. when it's already just simply this yeah it is actually totally ridiculous to say you know say that it could be any other way or <laughs> or yeah yeah, to call it wrong or yeah. yeah. But even the wrong calling, the calling it wrong is already just this, right? Right, right. This this does not need to change in a way. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it so doesn't nice need it, it doesn't it. it doesn't need to change. And uh imagine imagine you feel bad, yeah, full of fear and uh, panic attacks and depression, and then there is this 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 seeing well it doesn't need to change. I mean it's what it is. And this is in a way a kind of a total hopelessness, right? Mm. Totally. Because it's mm. what it is. Whether I like it or not, whether I put full on effort to change it or not, maybe having already the experience that this is just a loop of trying to change it, but at the end, boom, here I am again. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I mean, I can just really understand why people want to get out of that, you know, from from having wanted to get out of that so much. Totally. Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah, and and this is not about diminishing uh, fear, anxiety, or depression. No. This is not. This is not saying um, you know there is no depression or what. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, it's full on. It's full on. But the so-called depression is not for anyone separated. It's, it's it's not your depression. There may be a sense it's my depression or a feeling it's my depression. Well, that's already just innocently this. It doesn't make it more or less. Yeah, you, you I, I, lo I love the story there, Logan. Maybe you want to continue. I don't want to get you off track. No, that's fine. <laughs> and Logan, you can, of course, also ask question if, you're, if you want to know something, you know, because I, I don't okay. think that you have uh, seen all the videos. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> just feel free. Yeah. It's just then, you know, just the chat here. Yeah. yeah, but continue. Yeah, you you saw Emerson. Yeah, you saw Emerson. Yes. Go right, ahead. right. Yeah. So I talked talk to Emerson a couple times. Um, I love him, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <me too. laughs> um, yeah. He's just he. he yeah. He's he was just kind of like the most direct, clear thing I'd ever heard. Um, Okay, sweetheart, let me ask you a question. What is between yeah. fear and no fear? <clears throat> Can 
Can I give you a non a nonsense answer? <laughs> of course. Here, this is everything is nonsense here. Yeah. <laughs> Happiness is what arose. <laughs> It's kind of like a... okay, maybe because of yeah. seeing the irrelevance again, irrele uh, yeah. irrelevance, right? Is it correct? Um, it's simply not relevant, it's just blah blah. The sentence, what yeah. is between fear and no fear, is just blah blah. It's just another it talk, is, yeah. it's just another <laughs> idea, it's just another blah blah. It's, yeah. it's, it's you know, um, of course, you don't know, but uh. It's just what to say, what to say. It's just what it is. And not even this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any, you know, any go. I was just gonna say, like any words or efforts at description usually just kind of you know put me in thought, like as if there's something that needs to be found still. Yeah. But, of course. Um, yeah. A, a train of thoughts one thought leads to another 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 what a beauty and then what, what i really enjoyed was like i was i had like um panic attacks and i had like a million of thoughts at once like fell <laughs> you know and this mm. was scary because it was kind of yeah. confusing and then i simply i don't know i have to remember if I was playing with this or working with this, or I don't know, there were always like impulses, hearing this, hearing this, playing with this, like, you know, auto detective. And, um, and then I just realized, so what? Who cares? Full on confusion. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there was just simply, this was just like, yeah, so what? Yeah. Yeah, we can say of no interest not relevant, paying attention, not paying attention. Here, Zander Linchin, you said something beautiful when we shared, you never, you never had thoughts who attacked you <laughs> or something like this. What, what was it? How yeah, did you? Something like that, I guess, yeah. I loved it, the way <laughs> you say, because with him, it wasn't like you, like with me with the panic attacks. He, he just said, well, you know, he just, he just hears the whole bullshit, you know, I'm talking or you're talking or others. And he was like, you know, he was never taught who attacked me in a way, you know. Mm. <laughs> and and when I look back to those panic attacks, it was just like a thought coming up and then this fear, like as if I'm going to die, you know. And mm. this was so this was so wow, you know. And then in a way, um, how would you describe it? How would you, can can you put it like, uh, or it was just like full, full on fear. In a way I can say there was no Rosa anymore, but just the fear. Hmm. And even more, the idea of Rosa was not relevant. It doesn't no. matter if there is a Rosa or no Rosa. There is fear. Okay, so what? Yeah, exactly. I was like playing with this. Like, yeah, I was like diving into it, you know? And then mm -hmm. there was no diving anymore into it. There was just what is. And um, I was just saying, yeah, okay, kill me. Just kill me. Game over. Hopeless. Done. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> 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 Yeah, at that point when you when you can like give up the game, you don't have when you yeah, when you can yeah, give up the yeah, game. Totally. Like, oh, I give up. I weird. give up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And then maybe you know also after a very strong panic attack, there is this huge relaxation. Like, whoo, you know? Just totally, mm -hmm. just totally feel total freedom, total mm -hmm. peace. But that's the thing, right? So, who's there to give up this game? Mm. Who's there playing already? Who's separate from this? In a way, there's just a game. There's no one playing already. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, to say there's like someone or no one, I feel like it's just unknown. <laughs> like... Oh, yeah, but I, I, I mean, in the sense, I'm not saying there's no, I'm not saying there's no one or no me. Mm. I mean, there's just simply no separation. I can say there's just you. But there's mm -hmm. no separated you doing the youing. Yeah, I love to say there's just me. Full on so me. This is not about no, no me or or me. No, there's just simply you no know, separation. There's just the directness of whatever seems to be happening: fear attack, panic attacks, the sense of a me, the lack of the sense of a me. But there is no you able to make it stop. As a separated you, there was already no you who started the fear attack. It doesn't mean that it's, you know, that there cannot be an action to stop it, but there's no separated one taking action or not. Hmm. I got a little hung up on, on this word separation. Like, I don't quite know what it means for there to be no separation or, or for there to be separation. Um, Yeah, right now I'm just kind of hearing them as words, as like noises. Um, well, that's it. I mean, seeing that that noise or as a concept or a belief or as a whatever, that's it already. This is free to see it however. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can see you, that's it. I'm not going to argue. You know, you see it's seen how, how it is seen. Here, there's no asking you to see it in a certain way. I mean, who would be able to do that then? <laughs> it's not that you wake up and you say, I'm going to see you in, in, in five days from now, I'm going to see it in that way, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a seeing it in a certain way or, or the lack of seeing it in a certain way. Mm. There's no separated you, uh, you know, 10 minutes before the eyes are opening, saying, well, in 10 minutes, I'm going to open my eyes. And then in an hour from that, I'm going to see this or that. Uh, again, pointing to the directness of what is and not even pointing. Um, how, uh, when I say the directness of what is Logan, what's going on there? um yeah just like seeing um <laughs> uh there's like this body seemingly in this room um it's everything every idea every thought every movement sound emotion idea everything full on impossible to overwhelm you because mm. there is no you in it mm. it's just full on oh yeah and that's amazing and that's the wow that's the booming aliveness i love to say mm. Yeah, it's so tricky to put a label on it. Um, on what? <laughs> <Whoa. Yeah. laughs> I mean, um. what is there to put a label on than the idea that it's tricky to put a label on it? So tell me, what is separate? <laughs> um. I mean, the idea that there is something separate or not is already not separate. Tell me, from what is it separate? Um, yeah, it's, um, it's just sort of apparently, I suppose, you know, a thought comes that is constructing something, putting a label on something. Um, And that's something, yeah. On, yeah, that's something on which it seemed to put a label. What is that something then? More than 
the idea already that it's that there is something to put a label on and that it's happening in that way. What is the something <laughs> that it's supposedly putting a label on? Um, I, I mean, it seems like there's just the label. There's not, you know. Um, but in a way, it's the labeling already. Saying that there's just a label is just another label. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I, I was thinking that there's something wrong with the label. Um, well, that's it. Yeah. So what? <laughs> thinking, thinking that there is something wrong with the label is this already? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. It's okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, we are, back, we are back in the okayness. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, because, yeah, that's it. You know, I think there's something wrong with the label. Yes. Now, who, who is doing that? <laughs> so funny. It's already just simply what it is. I think there's something wrong with the label, which is basically just another thought. No escape. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like there's still a thinking that there's something somewhere better than here. Um, and this is it exactly. Exactly this thought, this feeling that there is something better than here. That's it. Done. There is no small Logan in it hmm. operating, knowing. There is just the body functioning, smiling, thinking, totally. You know, and the idea, Logan, that there's something wrong with this may just simply shift into a sound of the cat scratching the door. And there's already no separated you shifting. This can be just full on the cat scratching mm -hmm. on the door where the so-called before it was this need to change. So this this needs to change, or this is, there's something better than this, may just simply shift into hearing a cat. It's in innocently already. So in a way, there's just a naked functioning, I would say, but there's no one doing the functioning. Yeah. Or we can say Is there's there... just a fault stream or whatever, but there's no one able to stop the fault stream. I mean, that's just basically another fault. You know, it doesn't, you, you, you don't get anywhere with it. And can we say that there is, Logan, there is resistance to what is, in a way? Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I would say, you know, without necessarily knowing what that actually means. Um, I mean, right now, there's like a little feeling right here that 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 when you asked about resistance, my mind was like, yeah, that's the resistance right there. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What, what does it mean, resistance? Giving? Give it a, a, a meaning or not, you know? Imagine that you never heard the word resistance. Mm. So what? And then there is maybe combinating resistance, a memory, a feeling arising. Oh, who cares? Mm. The direct resistance. Okay. Oh, okay. The feeling. That's it. Boom. And yeah, I, I, I would say the idea that it is something actual or not is already just simply this, you know, the whole idea <laughs> about resistance is already just simply this. It's, it doesn't change what is already. It's inescapable, you know, writing a PhD about resistance is this too. I mean, resistance is just simply whatever it seems to be. 
So putting your hand to the chest, that's it. There's nothing more to it. But there's no separated you putting the hand to the chest or something which is outside of this, putting the hand to the chest and talking. Logan, would you say that your thoughts, you're in a way, uh, you're thinking, right? A lot. You love thoughts. Um, sometimes. I definitely used to. Okay. I would say nowadays there's a lot of silence. Um, but yeah, cool. Still be would, you, um, would, you, would you say that when there are a lot of thoughts, of course, no choice. When there are here, sometimes a lot of thoughts, sometimes not so much, you know? And in a way, it doesn't matter. Would you say that there is a difference, like how how you feel then, better or not so good when it's too much and blah? Is there something like this? You know what I mean? I would say, yeah, I would say you usually when there's a lot of thoughts, I think it's usually accompanied by sort of an uncomfortable sensation in the body. Um, which I might not fully like notice or something, but um, mm -hmm. but it's I mean it's it mostly feels pretty okay, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. What's going on there, Logan? Um, <clears throat> tell me. And me, not only you. <laughs> yeah. You're a nice guy. I agree with Chris. Chris, I agree. Oh, thank you. <laughs> tell Chris, me. What, we agree. What, what, Logan is on? cool. <laughs> what's going on? Because there seems to be something. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I think my mind kind of went blank and I, you know, didn't really have, have anything to say. Um, but also there's like, a, yeah, I'm feeling like a little sensation. Um, mm, it, it feels like sadness almost. It's like, yeah, grief or something. <laughs> I don't know. I would never, I would have never guessed this because he's smiling like crazy. Mm. There's a sadness. <laughs> yeah. what a beauty you know for me it looks like this when there is sadness you will see me full-on cry and then maybe two minutes later full-on laughing cracking up but mm -hmm. i would full-on cry because it's so sad <laughs> okay and and now what um But sensation is kind of still here. And then, you know, I noticed thought almost like immediately jump in to try to interpret it or. Um... There's something for me about like being on the spot that. Um... Uh, I don't know what it is. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Who cares? The, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what it is. It's already this. There's something mm -hmm. about me being on the spot and I don't know what it is. That's it. Maybe when you're... Um... <clears throat> well, at least just now, when you said, you know, that is already this. Uh, it sort of, it almost makes me think there's something I need to get. Um, ah, <laughs> sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which, um... Yes. So, so, yeah. so natural. Yes. I mean, and there's nothing to do about it. You know, the idea that, uh, you know, this idea just simply rise, you know, in, in a way there's no one behind you, behind that as a separated you, 
making the sensation or the idea that there's something to get arise. It's spontaneous. It's instant. It's innocent. It's direct. Here, this mm -hmm. reminds me, by the way, exactly when you said, Logan, when you just said, you know, it's just like as if there is something to get. Giovanni, Giovanni is under LinkedIn, you know, he, he said exactly then, there is something stopping. <laughs> He's putting it like as if there is something stopping, you know, what is it? It's so, it's so sweet to, to hear this, yeah. Yeah, and you, there's nothing wrong with the idea or the belief or the sensation or whatever you want to call it, the story, that there, the idea that there's something to get. That itself is already ungettable. Yeah. Maybe this is what is making me so sad. Um, Beautiful. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, that assumption is innocent. You know, that is... That is maybe what is making me so sad. You know, now I found out what is the problem and blah, 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 blah. So th th it's all spontaneous, innocent. Okay, so now I get the idea what is wrong. You know, that's maybe what is bothering me. Da -da 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 -da. That's it. But when you say that's it, like there's not an it. Well, right? no, exactly. There is no it. There, 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 there is no it in a sense, uh, you know, like something, like an it, like an object. The whole idea that there is something which is this is already not an it. There's no this to be it or it to be this. But of course, it may give you the idea that there is something, you know, separate, which is gettable. Mm -hmm. There but is that, only the it. <laughs> but that idea or belief is already not gettable. Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems how it seems. You know, this is free to see it however it's been seen or felt or believed this is free to smell how it smells you know <laughs> yeah <clears throat> this is being felt here right now as like um Well, I don't know. Like this, the story I want to put on is is the the grief that people will often talk about, which it feels kind of like that, but um... of losing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like hopelessness. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 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 Nothing special. Yeah, like, I mean, nothing special, something special, it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It doesn't matter, yes. Yeah. It's just what's coming out. Again, not of any relevance already. Yeah. You know, you cannot go right or wrong. It's just blah, 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 blah. Ping pong. Well, <laughs> if it's special, then it's special. If it's not special, then it's not yeah. special. I mean... It's free to be claimed very special. Hmm. Yeah. People will always say things that have opposites, right? And so, um, What is even an opposite? 
<laughs> you know what 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 is this even opposites mm. good bad mm. yeah liking not liking resisting <laughs> what a beauty <laughs> why shit logan come on what's hmm. missing there it's a good question <clears throat> And I just come back to this like sadness. can very quickly turn into joy yeah. yeah 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 thank you guys i mean you you two are so sweet and awesome <laughs> thank you for what <laughs> <laughs> for me here yeah, logan for me it's just really like um innocently connecting sharing you know it's i just love it and i'm no fucking for why um I, I call it follow your highest excitement if you can no matter what it is and um yeah and here is this in loveness with life mm. no matter how it plays out uh the sadness is it the gladness is it the pain is it. There is this brutal intensity of what is. Loving it. Hating it. Full on. Resisting it. Full on. This is the hopelessness also. And this is the freedom. Mm. Having no say in the matter. <laughs> Just being there and saying, wow. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> hmm. I mean, come on, that's cool, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it is cool. And right now it also feels sad for some reason. I yeah, I would, I would say that, yes. I, I, it still it still seemed to be going on there Logan mm -hmm. yes so so the beauty is that labeling this sad or happy is already just simply this Claiming this to be sad or claiming this to be happy is already just simply this. This is it. Labeling a certain emotion or certain feeling, sadness or happiness is innocently this. There's no way out. There's already no separated you doing the labeling of the so-called feeling. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with it, you know, this is. All right. There is also nothing right with it. No, it's just what is. I mean, including, what is. including thinking it's wrong or right or saying it's not wrong. The need to label it is just not there. 
Labeling happens. So what? Just a label. You can you can simply change the labels. Hmm. We can label the banana as a tomato. So what? It's not changing the banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really funny. Or sad. <laughs> So tell me more, friends, about um, Emerson. <laughs> um, I would love to. I actually, I have to get to another meeting. Oh, <laughs> well, I would love to be talking to you guys. No problem, okay. No problem, no sweetheart. This yeah. was, yeah, this was cool. I thank you. I really enjoyed it. And uh, we simply stay in touch. If you like, join our meetings. If you like, feel free. Just yeah, just let yeah. I, I, I most likely will. This was great. Um, okay, cool. And nice uh, okay, so I wish you a beautiful next meeting. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, cool, sweethearts and the lynch, and thanks. Nice to meet you, Logan. Have a beautiful night or what? I don't yeah. know. It's that day. Yeah, it's uh, noon no. here. So. Noon. Okay. Noon. Okay. Enjoy the day, and uh, we are enjoying the night. Thank you okay. for your openness. Yeah, totally. Love you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. <laughs> Take care.